The new study claims undergoing a major surgery could double your chance of experiencing a substantial decline in mental skills, mm -hmm. such as reasoning, memory, and language ability. Researchers compared the effect to adding five months to the age of your brain. We're talking about major surgery here with general anesthesia. And they looked at 7,000 British civil servants. And that's a pretty large study. Other studies have looked at this before. And it's not as though you can sit here and prove cause and effect no. with certainty. But I believe this is a big deal because in the medical profession, we tend to poo-poo the potential effects of sedation. Mm -hmm. And in this case, general anesthesia, and I don't think we should. Well, if you need a surgery, so, you need a surgery. I mean, we know but. how general <clears throat> anesthesia works. I mean, you're using a, a, uh, a gas, an inhalant type thing that we know the longer the procedure, the longer the operation, the more anesthesia, the more of that is actually sitting in the brain. It gets absorbed mm -hmm. by the brain. If you've had general anesthesia, <laughs> sometimes it's difficult to wake up longer the procedure, the longer it takes you to wake up. General anesthesia is incredibly safe. And of course, there are always potential, uh, there's always a potential for complication. But the reason I, th I thought this topic was appropriate is, as I mentioned in our meeting, my father this summer had, he just had a really rough bout of surgery after surgery and had, was under general anesthesia sometimes twice a week. Oh, hours and and, I, and hours. I remember wow. talking to his doctor saying, look, if there's any way we could do this next procedure without general anesthesia, and there is still a reticence in modern medicine to even acknowledge a connection. And, and I said, look, Dad, here's the deal. If we, if we can save you w one more instance of general anesthesia, mm -hmm. I think we need to. Right. And yes, your doctors are probably not going to acknowledge this because this is not a common thing for doctors to talk about. Right. So if you need general anesthesia, get it. It is safe. But at the same time, there are a plethora of procedures out there even minor surgeries where you can use local nerve blocks. Mm -hmm. You can use other methods to numb the area, slight sedation. Mm -hmm. You don't always need full general anesthesia. And that has become somewhat the norm because as you said, Mary, why do you like it? Because well, you felt, get knocked out. Oh, and yeah, I felt good. I just had my colonoscopy. <laughs> well, that's Woo, that was awesome. and that's IV medication. And so that's, that's, a little, that's a little bit well, different. You're the only no person IV who likes think. getting your colonoscopies. That is yeah. just the weirdest thing. Oh, there I is, can't wait to go back. There is, well, there is, <laughs> in, in medicine, you, there is a, a wide range of, there is something known as conscious sedation, where yeah. you're still awake and breathing, but I don't like you know, you, and, and, and in medicine, I might use that if I'm trying to reset a broken bone. Right. And so you can reset a broken bone and yeah. no it's one really cares. Happy. Hey, but but generally anesthesia. You can do that, but some prolonged invasive exactly. orthopedic surgery, exactly. intra-abdominal surgery, huh. brain surgery. And general, I mean, you need general anesthesia. And that's right. And what general anesthesia does is it provides a very safe operating environment. So if you need it, get it. Mm -hmm. But again, there may, there may be a few scenarios where, well, do you need general anesthesia or can you use sedation with local nerve blocks? It's just a conversation to have with your doctor. If you're undergoing an elective procedure right. and they say, hey, would you like general anesthesia or alternatively, we can do X, Y, or Z. And I, I want to emphasize one thing in medicine and, and this is important. I'm really proud of how we have perfected the art of using anesthesia mm. and compared to the days of old, right? Where if you went under for surgery, you were kind of, you, you, were, you were doing this hoping you'd wake up. And it is so incredibly well done and for the most part safe. And, and it's a beautiful, think about the number of people in this country that go under general anesthesia. Billions day in and day every out. day. Yeah. Every day. So I, I don't want people to be afraid of it, but be aware.